you about obsessive compulsive disorder, something that we've kind of brushed on a little bit here and there um, on, on different episodes. I talked about mine and it's more to do with organization with, with them, um, with lining up things correctly and, and, you know, just uh, uh, alphabetical order of things and things like that. And again, they're not hugely, uh, they don't hugely affect my life. You know, it's kind of one of those things where they're annoying, but like not more than that. How does, um, how does the, the obsessive compulsive stuff come um, with you? Yeah, so um, mine started, like, as I said, I actually never picked up on it when I was younger. When I was like 14, 15, I was always what you'd kind of like describe as like an obsessive person, as in I'd get like little obsessions with like different things that would go on in my life or something like that. I've always been an obsessive person, but about like two years ago when it started, it literally just hit me out of nowhere one day. Like I was just literally, I was working in lifestyle sports at the time, like, and I was literally just in the back stock room one day and I got one thought. And I was just like, huh, I don't like that thought. Mm. And then it just absolutely plagued me for weeks and weeks and weeks. And and then it would like that thought would like build into other thoughts. It would develop other thoughts. And it, it ended up getting to the stage where I would obsess over the obsessions. So mm. like, I'd, like if, say, if the, say if the thought stopped, I'd start obsessing over being like, why did it stop? Does that yeah. mean I'm normal now? Like what's going on with me? And it just got to the stage where, I just it like affected like all parts of my life like it was affecting my training I couldn't train basically mm. it was affecting like the relationship I'm in it was affecting like my relationship with like my parents um my mom like I was like having murders with her because like th- like I was always like so anxious and so built up in my own mind that you know if she said one word to me I'd just explode and I'd be mm. like just, like I'd go crazy like and like the way that like doesn't after putting in like a lot of work it doesn't affect me that much anymore like they're still there but I just I've learned how to deal with them but Mine was all like, as you said, like your OCD is kind of like we're organizing and things like mm. that. And like, I think a, a lot of people just from like TV and stuff, they think OCD is just all like, oh, so what? You need to like shut the window five times yeah. to go to sleep and this sort of thing. And I was like, no, I don't need to do anything. Like, I'm just <laughs> like, it's just all up here for me, like, which it is. Like, I don't think I have any physical compulsions at all. They're all mental. Like, I'll have to maybe like ask certain questions. I'll have to go over certain details in my mind and if I don't go over them like I'll start getting anxious but it's kind of gotten to the stage now where I'm able to avoid the compulsions and deal with it differently you know if you were asked so if if you were you know asking the questions of your mind you know whether it's something that's plaguing you as you say right and you couldn't kind of figure out those questions does there does that become a problem then that you know that it keeps because I always think about um with my ones okay so if I've got the desk here in front of me and I organize everything in a line nobody else is going to be in this room the rest of the day it's not going to move but when it's a when it's um mental rather than physical I guess does if you don't get those answers it keeps going does it there's there's more and more building up all the time yeah it's um the way I would describe it kind of is it's like if you don't, it's like it's like a fear of uncertainty, really. Mm. Um, like the way it started with me, where like really, really came up in, into like very like severe OCD was was when I got in a relationship because I was young when I got in a relationship and I'm still mm. in the relationship, but like it, it brought up probably what I described as just insecurities. I didn't, I wasn't even aware I had like you know because a yeah. lot of people it does happen, and when it brought up them insecurities, it brought up like a lot of like fear and uncertainty, whereas. And then OCD is literally just built on fear. Like it's like the uncertainty is what drives me crazy with it. As in, I'll be thinking of a thought and if I don't know the answer to it, like I'll obsess over for mm. so long. I'm like, I need to know the answer. And then that, that's what leads into the questions. And the, I'll start asking things and I'll start, you know, trying to piece things together. And if I can't piece them together, like I, well, not really anymore, but I used to get to the stage where I would just be like in extreme discomfort for so long over it. Like, yeah. yeah.